what you do is you take your wine, throw it in a blender, and um, it aerates it because, well, it is actually throwing oxygen back into the wine by blending it. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because the point of Moby Dick is to be yourself. Today on Wind Down Wednesday, we're going to do something fun. Something that I really wanted to do last week but didn't get around to. Um, and uh, let's be honest, I was a little tired last week. But now I'm back. Clean shaven. You saw this on Monday. Um, still getting the kinks out. I'll have a haircut hopefully by next week. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little fun. We're going to uh, demystify or do some wine myth busting, I guess. Um, I've been told in the past that uh, if you want to decant a wine but don't have the time, use an aerator. We have that pocket aerator that I absolutely love and adore, uh, and we're going to put it up to the test against this other aeration method. Uh, that we've nicknamed the Redneck Aerator. And I'm sorry if that offends some people out there, but that's how it was told to me. Um, what you do is you take your wine, throw it in a blender, and um, it aerates it because, well, it is actually throwing oxygen back into the wine by blending it. Uh, so I picked a bottle that I have in my collection that I know is going to be a little tight right now. Um, and well we're just gonna have a little fun you know i love doing this i love all the little things that people tell me to do with wine some of it crazy but sometimes sorry for the pop sometimes it ends up being a little fun if not informative probably insane. Before me, I have three glasses. We're going to take a control sample because I keep forgetting to do that on all the other ones that we do. Yeah, I could use a little decanting. Um, Next, on the far end, I'm going to throw it through the Vino Air. And that opens it right up. Ooh. And then finally, uh, I have a generic uh, nutritional bullet type thing. Um, thought I'd use the bigger one just in case it gets a little splashy. Get a little air in there. Don't try this at home kids. Well also if you're kids don't don't watch my show. I mean do watch my show with supervision. Uh, don't drink wine until you're of legal age in your country. And um, never throw wine in a blender unless this turns out to go well. Bear with me for one moment. Well, that got frothy real fast. All right. Little uh, redneck aeration right there. Now, one downside to blending your wine um, is that it'll get warm. Gee, mini Christmas. Uh, because a blender naturally has some extra heat to it. But you don't want to leave it in your blender too long anyways. Uh, <laughs> That just looks awful. All right, here we go. Uh, 
the control. The pocket aerator, which is about an hour's worth of decanting. And now, I'm afraid. I'm really scared to do this. There's, it looks excited. So, right off the bat, the nose is different. Let's move the control out of the way. It's almost more fruitful, which is weird. Now, now I may have only now I may have only put it in there for um, for a few seconds. Uh, it has opened up a bit, um, but the kind of it has an extra metallic taste to it. That might just be my blender, but I think most blenders have metal blades. Um, You know, it's brought out, it's almost more tannic, which is weird. It kind of, um, it reminds me of how wine is when it's um, being first bottled. It's like that uh, the pressure being pushed through a hose and crammed into a small bottle, it, it almost, I feel like it's simulating bottle shock right now. Um, it's 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 tightened up. It's become off kilter. Uh, it's out of balance. Mm, mm. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Redneck aerator. Don't try it. Um, bad idea. Awful, awful, awful idea. Uh, oh. Uh, redneck aerator. Don't try it. Uh, <laughs> This this is this isn't ice cubes in your wine bad. This is this is just bad. Um, wow, I don't know how it's changed, transformed this so much to make it so bad, but it it's it is not recommended. <laughs> Fail. Um, thank you for joining me on Wine Down Wednesday. Uh, if you liked the redneck aerator MythBuster thing that we're going for right now. Um, let me know in the comments below what other weird, random, uh, word of mouth type things have you heard to do with wine? Uh, things that you never would think to do. Um, leave them in the comments below. Maybe we'll have them on an episode. I really need to, to just, I need to go. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, into week 20. Uh, we're going to push hard. I'm going to give you some damn good content in the next couple weeks uh, leading up through the new year. And um, it's it's great to be back. <laughs> I just, just don't. Just, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>